Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jelana, and if you've been here before, welcome back, sis. So today is going to be a different type of vlog. So I'm going to be showing like, you know, my office lifestyle and things like that. Typical day in the life. But this time I'm going to have an emphasis on what it is that I actually do at work. So I'm going to try to make this as informational as possible. I'm going to stop every now and then to just explain to you guys what it is that I actually do at work. So if you're interested in learning more about the actual day in the life of a software engineer, stay tuned for the rest of this video. Okay, so I wanted to make this type of video because I feel like when I wanted to be a software engineer, I really wanted to find more content on YouTube about like, what software engineers actually do at work like i want to know what tools you're using what's your day actually like i feel like most people only show like myself only show like the fun parts of work and don't really show like what they actually work on um obviously i'm gonna have to keep it super super vague because i can't share my screen with y'all and i can't really give y'all specific details on what i'm working on because you know but i'll try to just in general just talk about like what I do, what org I'm in, what kind of things I work on, and etc. So I just left Smoothie King because I'm on a weight gain journey as well, which we could talk about that in a different video. But um, I just picked up a smoothie and now I'm about to go pick up my best friend and we're gonna head to the office together. So I will actually see you guys once I get to the office. I'm outside in a AMG, right outside. I came to this conference room really quick just so that I can chat with y'all and explain to y'all a little bit more about what I do. So I am a front-end software engineer. I am actually a part of a program that is called Talent Development Program and it's inside of the data org of my company. I'm the only software engineer in the program. The other members are data science and machine learning engineering. If you watched my Bay Area vlog, you probably saw me talk a little bit more about my program that I'm in, I really like the program. So when I first started the program, I joined a team called Data Science Productivity, and we basically build tools for data scientists. So just vaguely, we have a few products that we own. Um, I would consider the team to kind of be like a piloting team almost because we own a lot of products, but we were like a small team. So we kind of quickly build things that would help make the lives of data scientists easier. As you can imagine, you're working very closely with data scientists and you kind of have to understand what the data scientists are looking for to understand like their business case value, like the business value of what you're, you know, building. So with that being said, I kind of found myself not really being that interested in data. Like I think that being, I think that data is super exciting. I think that, you know, data literally, everything starts with data. And honestly, the data at my company is very, very interesting. Like I, I really appreciate hearing about the storytelling and I really, um, I really love hearing about the things that the people in my program are working on. However, like while it's interesting, I just felt like I was working too close to data scientists because it's to the point where I'm building tools to help data scientists perform like complex analyses. Even though I'm not doing any of the calculation, it's still just like you kind of have to understand at some level the data science part to fully understand the business, you know, the business case that you're working on. And I just like found myself just not being really interested. And it kind of like made me, I kind of felt a little bit bad about it at first because I'm in this data program for two years. So I'm like, you know, I kind of kind of felt bad at first that I really wasn't interested. And I was really trying to like, get myself to be excited about it but I just wasn't so eventually I end up telling my boss like you know I kind of don't really like working that close to data I kind of eventually like after the program my goal is to work on something that's more like customer facing or like regular consumer facing like I don't really it's already hard enough for me to learn 
software engineering. But then like to add a data context to it was very difficult for me. So I kind of want to work on something that is just more of a regular, you know, user facing product. And my boss, super, super supportive, like really great boss. I've had really good bosses here. Super supportive about that. And he ended up putting me on this project. Um, they were looking for, I guess, kind of like a couple of volunteers from each team. And so he ended up like volunteering me for this project so that I didn't have to work as closely to data. And that's the project that I'm on now. So I really enjoy what I'm working on now. I liked what I was working on before, of course, because I was still working on interesting UI components. But I think what's interesting, and I'm so grateful for him for putting me on this project, but like what's interesting about this project is I got to actually build it from scratch. So me and there's only about five of us on the engineering side, two in the front end and about three or four in the back end. And then we have other members of the team as well. I think our team is probably about 10 or 12, 10 to 12 people. We actually got to start the project from scratch and I'm really, I'm literally building an MVP. And I feel like me, me working on this project, I have gotten to learn so much about the front end. And on top of that, I get to use React in this project. We don't typically use React on my company. Most of us use Ember, like 99% of the company uses Ember. Um, so I just find it really interesting that I get to actually work on React. And not only do I get to work on React, but I get to literally build something from scratch. I get to work with everything from the UXD, everything all front end, front end engineering. And I get to work very closely with the UXD, very hands on. And I am like, you know, a decision maker as, you know, as it pertains to the future of this product. So that is like what I'm working on now. Um, I have started this project in August and the product the project has come such a long way. I can't really talk about specifically what the project is for, but the project has come such a long way and I just really, really enjoy what I work on and it really has gotten me super, super excited about working in the front end. So that was kind of like a long spill about what I work on. So now that I've talked about like the area that I work on, um, or like the area that I work in, I'm going to talk a little bit more about what I actually am doing now. So like I told you, I started working on a new project. Um, I started the project in August and we literally started it from scratch. We are now about to start phase two of the project. And this is a pretty big phase. And I am currently the only UI person on the team right now. So as of like January, I'm like the only person that's in UI. So what I did just to make my life easier is I spent about a week refactoring the code that we had previously because I felt like we built the project so fast that I just wanted to make sure that all the decisions that we made were like actually the best decision for the project or for the product and that the code base is as clean as possible before we further expand. So in addition to that, I am also working on um, my the engineering manager that's managing this project has asked me to think of ways that we can integrate UI. I mean, sorry, think of ways that we can integrate AI or artificial intelligence into the front end of our project. And this part is actually pretty exciting for me because if you watched my creative careers in tech video, you know that I work on the front end and that I enjoy UXD work, but I wouldn't want to do UXD full time. So UXD is like user experience design, also, you know, UID, user interface design. So that's like the actual design of what the project or product visually looks like. And I am a very creative person, so I don't mind doing that type of work here and there. Um, I just wouldn't want to do it full time. So I'm excited because this is a good opportunity for me to, you know, showcase some of my user interface design skills, user experience design skills and create visual markups for, you know, how we could potentially add artificial intelligence into our product. So some of the technologies that I use, let's talk about that. I use a lot of Visual Studio Code. I think that's VS Code, you know. Um, that's what I use to write my code in. So I, I love using that. I really haven't explored too much of, I think I might've used a sub, is it called Sublime? Something like that. I don't know what it's called. I might have tried a couple other ones. I've tried IntelliJ. IntelliJ just has too much going on for me. But yeah, I, I use Visual Studio Code. Okay, 
So now that that's that, let's go into what a typical day looks like for me. So I work on the East Coast and majority of my team works on the West Coast. So there's a three hour time difference. Most of my team is not logging in until about 12 o'clock. Like that's like the earliest. So 9 a.m. their time is usually when they log in. But anyway, so um, I usually have my first meeting around 12 o'clock. I feel like my mornings are typically just very chill coding. I can just kind of work on things by myself. There's pros and cons to that because I feel like if I have any blockers or if I need any help, I have to kind of wait until noon for people to log in. So, you know, in the morning, I usually try to just work on things that like, that don't really have any dependencies, which is most of my work, honestly. So at 12 o'clock, I have a sync up with the front end, like front end, back end sync up. And then sometimes the engineering manager will join the sync up as well. So we do that Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. And then at 12.30, I actually have another interesting meeting. So um, the team that I just said, you know how I said I was working on that special project and I've been on that project since about August. So this, this project is actually becoming like my permanent project and the team is actually becoming my permanent team, including the manager. So she's gonna become my manager. So we're actually gonna have our first actual team meeting today. Um, so I'm really excited about that. So that's only that's the only thing on my agenda today, work-wise. And then, as you guys know, um, I work inside of the Microsoft building. So uh, Black at Microsoft is hosting a happy hour today from 4 to 5.30. So I'll probably make it at the end of that. Honestly, lately, I've been finding myself working a little later than usual um, the last couple of weeks, just because, like I said, we're going into phase two of that project. I have been really busy at work lately, so I might push me going to the happy hour back to, like, five. I might just go to, like, for, like, the last 30 minutes or so. So we'll see what that looks like. We'll see what my day, you know, looks like when I get there. And I usually do lunch around 1, 1 o'clock, 1 30. So meeting at 12, new team meeting at 12 30, and then lunch around 1. 1. That is today's agenda. <laughs> okay, so the informational portion of this <laughs> has concluded. Um, I'm gonna continue to take you guys along with me for the rest of the day and still kind of explain things that I'm doing. I hope you guys like that kind of stuff. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments um, and I will definitely answer whatever questions you have about what it's actually like to be a software engineer. Um, but yeah, I'm about to continue to work on these mock-ups, so I will catch you guys later. Okay, y'all. So it's 12 o'clock. Um, so I'm about to join my daily sync. Well, it's only Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, but Basically, this is just my time where I get to talk to the back end um, and just talk about any blockers that I have or just any questions that I might have. Um, it's really quick and casual. It's kind of like a stand up meeting if you're um, if you're familiar with like the agile method. But yeah, basically, this is just a really chill meeting for me to ask questions. Okay, so I just got out of that meeting. Um, it's 12.50, so it ran 20 minutes over. And most of us are in the next meeting. So I'm about to just quickly join the next meeting, which is supposed to be our first team meeting. All of us are 20 minutes late. So we'll only probably have like 10 to 20 minutes to meet. But I'm going to quickly jump into that meeting. So I'll catch you guys after this. I believe that all of your dreams are directions. You took my heart, all my keys, and my passions. You took my heart, I'm asleep at that career. Okay, y'all. I just finally got on my last meeting. It's 105. And um, yeah, it was really quick. We just basically did like intros. Um, because like I said, um, it's basically even though we're working with the same people, but now it's like officially a team. So I'm super excited. Like I really like the org that I'm in now. Um and I'm just excited to see like what type of projects we'll be working on in the future. 
And I think that I've gotten really lucky so far because um, I've just been able to work with, like, really good managers. And I've been having really good teammates throughout my whole entire um, almost two years now that I've been at my company. And, yeah, I'm just really um, excited to see what's to come for the rest of this year. But like I said, it's 106 and I'll probably be grabbing lunch around 1.30. I just want to ping a couple people and um, finalize a couple things before I head to lunch. Sometimes I eat lunch and actually take a lunch time. Sometimes I bring my lunch upstairs. I have like a working lunch. I'll probably bring lunch upstairs today. I don't know. We'll see. But I'll catch you guys in a little bit. <laughs> This is my office crew. We have Michaela, Hi. who is in <laughs> BLP slash sales. BLP is an entry level program <laughs> for people at LinkedIn that are in business. <laughs> this is Anaya. Hey she guys. is an account. They know me. Sorry. An I, account. I'm an account director. Director. Big boss energy. <laughs> There's a couple other people, but they're in meetings right now. So. Okay, we found a secret door at the LinkedIn office that takes us straight to the cafeteria. It's really not a secret, but we were the last one to find out about it. But all this time, we've been having to do so much just to get to the cafeteria. The whole time, there's really a door in our office that goes straight to it. Like, wow. I didn't even do an OOTD. I'm outside in an AMG, right outside. So we got our lunch and now we're about to, we haven't eaten yet though. Oh, now we're about to go to the third floor so that we can get some flavored water because they don't have flavored water on our floor. Maybe there is a cafeteria, is there another cafeteria that's like outside of LinkedIn on this floor? No, probably not. I think not. there's a little kitchen on every floor. You but I'm saying, is there a kitchen on this floor that's not LinkedIn? That's one thing Microsoft has that we don't have. It's flavored water. This is actually my first time on another floor. Oh, this floor is cute. No, I mean like on a floor that's not the 10th floor. Oh. This floor is cute though. I don't know all these floors. Okay, so I'm eating lunch finally. It's 2.26 and I'm just now getting to eat. Mostly because I was dragging my feet to get to the cafeteria, but eating Indian food and it's actually pretty good. Okay, so now I'm um, listening to a lunch and learn about AI. Um, as you probably have heard about the new chat GPT thing that's like out with Microsoft and OpenAI. So I'm listening um, to information like lunch and learn about that. And then I'm also, while I'm in it, yeah, working on that um starting to implement some of that mock design that i told you guys that i came up with earlier i did present my design this morning um in my team sync and they liked it so i'm going to start implementing it along with one of my teammates um we are going to be meeting at four o'clock to finalize the requirements for um the feature but yeah, so I'm working and listening at the same time until my meeting, my next meeting at four. Okay. <laughs> this is where I've been working at, by the way. But I'm finally about to attend my last meeting of the day, the lunch and learn, which was later. It really wasn't during lunch because it was based on Pacific time. So it was like at three o'clock. But that was kind of impromptu because I didn't find out about it until today. And then this meeting is also impromptu. Meeting with my teammate today so that we can, like I said earlier, just discuss what we're actually going to, like the final um, design choices for the product that we're going to be working on or the feature that we're going to be adding. Um, the final design choices for the feature that we're going to be adding and we're gonna just like divvy up the tasks and stuff like that and just 
figure out kind of like a roadmap for the, implementing this feature. So yeah, last meeting, and then we're off to happy hour. Oh, <laughs> yay! <laughs> so yeah, BRB. So I literally got out of my last meeting at 5.01. It lasted way longer than I expected. Um, so now me and Michaela are about to go to happy hour. it's 6 11 i am getting on the freeway right now i'm finally leaving um happy hour was cool um but i'm about to head home my apartment is having a happy hour and i think they're gonna have like hors d'oeuvres too so i'm gonna stop by that um see what they got going on that ends at 7 30 i'll probably get there at this rate there's so much traffic i probably won't get there until like seven um so we'll even see this traffic is literally like standstill right now. Like I can literally put my car in park right now. So that's annoying, but hopefully I can get home at a reasonable time. Okay y'all, so I just got back home and I'm about to head to happy hour that my apartment is having. So we'll see what this is hitting for. I just made it back from my apartment's happy hour. Um, I'm about to do my nighttime routine, take a shower, take off my makeup, you know, all that good jazz, lay in bed and relax, probably eat some dinner. Um, so I'm about to end this vlog here. I had a good time at happy hour. I was catching up with a few of the girlies that live in my building. Um, so that was nice. They had like free drinks and, you know, some snacks and things like that that you saw in the snippet um but yeah i'm pretty tired i'm socially drained <laughs> um and i hope that you guys enjoyed this informational day in the life if there's anything that i left out that you want to hear more about let me know in the comments um also i will be posting more tech and software engineering related content so if there's anything that you want to see just let me know um and if you're interested in like how to become a software engineer or how to break into tech, I have videos on that as well, which I will link down below in the description. But yeah, so, um, but yeah, so that's it for this vlog. I will catch you guys in the next vlog. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so that you don't miss out on content. Okay, so see y'all. Good night. Oh, 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 oh.